Hey everyone, I'm a small lizard, and I'll be continuing with our analysis of arrangements by looking at two very important techniques, grouping and slotting. So the idea of grouping is really very simple, right? Because we are literally just gonna group elements together. So let's say we have A and B, we're gonna group A and B together, and let's say we leave C and D outside. Right, the idea is to make sure that they are together, so they're always side by side. For slotting, the idea is, is to put the item or items last. And really, it's just usually just slot the items last after everything is settled or after most things are settled. Arranged or settled, all right? So this is the idea, and we see in action in this particular example. Group of three girls and six boys, so a total of nine people. Find a number of different arrangements if they stand in a row. Quite simple, right? Nine factor. So part B, number of arrangements if all three girls stand next to each other. Take note that group now stand in a circle. So good habit, circle the word circle. Find a number of different arrangements if they stand next to each other. Because the three girls must stand next to each other, we have to group them, right? As we from the idea down here, we are gonna group them. So we're gonna have three girls and then the six boys at the end. So how many items do we have now? Basically, one group, six boys, seven items first. All right, now we have to do this because if we're to, let's say, try to do eight factorial because it's a circle and there's nine people, so nine minus one whole thing factorial is eight factorial, we realize that we'll get cases where not all the girls are together. Let's say we have girl one, girl two, and let me just put it nicely. Girl one, girl two, and then girl three can be somewhere around here and then surrounded by guys. All right, so that's why we need to group them together to ensure that they are literally next to each other, holding hands figuratively. All right, so set our items first, we'll arrange them first. So we have six factorial because they're in a circle. Thereafter, we are not done yet. Because what we've only done is arranging the group of girls with the six boys. So let's say it's something like this, all right? Of course, it's in a circle. So let's say it's something like this. But you notice that, hey, how about the girls themselves, right? So we need to also arrange the girls, three factorial, there, this leaves us with one seven twenty times six, so that is four three two zero. All right. Now, is there a need to consider circular for three factorial? And why is it, is it three factorial, not two factorial? The and the idea is that because we've already considered rotational symmetry when we arrange everyone together, which is the six boys and the group of girls already. All right. There's no symmetry when it comes to three factorial rearranging the girls. So 4320 ways for part B. Tom, Jerry, and Spike are three members of the group. Find a number of different arrangements possible if Tom does not want to stand beside Jerry nor Spike. Wow, how spiteful. And Spike must stand next to Jerry. Okay, so many things here. Spike must stand next to Jerry. Idea is to group Spike and Jerry together. So we have Spike and Jerry. Now, Tom does not want to stand beside Jerry nor Spike. So Tom is eaten out. Then we are left with the three girls and three guys. All right, so what can we do? Now, we have eight items in total. And because they're still in a circle, what you might try to do is seven factorial. But of course, this wouldn't work, right? Because if you think about it, we can have the group here. Seven factorial means the number of ways that Tom and the rest of the gang can be arranged. There might be cases where Tom is really right beside them, all right? So that's not what we want. So what can we do? So the idea here is we're going to leave Tom last, right? Because we're going to wait to put Tom in, right? We want to see where Jerry and Spike are and then put Tom in at the end. So the idea is first arrange everyone but Tom. And then slot Tom in, right? So it's really just like a wait and see kind of thing. Alright, so we're going to arrange everyone. So whenever you're going to arrange these seven people, or rather seven items first, we have six factorial. Don't forget they're in a circle, so seven minus one whole thing factorial is six factorial. Now, don't forget one more thing, Spike and Jerry, two factorial. 
All right, now, now we have Spike and Jerry and the six guys in, six people in. So where can Tom be? Notice that there, um, Tom can only take up five slots here, all right? Because if this is the group of Spike and Jerry, Tom cannot be here, Tom cannot be here. All right, so Tom can only be here, over here, over here, over here, over here, and over here for a total of five slots. Five, choose one, or simply five. All right, and this will give us 720 times 10, so 7200 zero, zero cases. All right, so this is the idea of group and slotting, where grouping is really just putting everyone together, holding hands. Slotting is really what we call by wait and see. And the idea commonly used is, or really common ideas is separation. All right, so grouping is together, slotting is sort of like separation. All right, so in the next video, we'll be looking at the idea of complements and again we'll be revisiting some of the techniques that we've already learned all right see you guys in the next video